Welcome to this video series focused on AI and ML at ClickSense. I am going to speak about generating insights in ClickSense with Insight Advisor through the use of natural language processing and analysis types. My name is Nasser Bumpus, a product manager here for Augmented. I am going to cover items that we have currently available in ClickSense for this blog post. The next blog post will contain some items that have not been seen as of yet. Insight Advisor creates recommendations and visualizations for you using the Click Engine and the application's logical model. Insight Advisor actually encompasses a couple of different interactions. The first of these interactions is Insight Advisor Chat. So Insight Advisor Chat, it's built for the non-technical business user. The user that wants to quickly ask questions and get answers when they don't necessarily know where to look for the data. You can easily ask questions and Insight Advisor Chat will search across all of your ClickSense applications that are enabled and recommend the best sources of data for your question. It will then interact with you in a simple conversational manner, allowing you to get the answers you need to take action in the business moment. Here's an example. I have a application tied to people operations. I'm going to go in and ask about a couple of uh, hiring trends. The first question I'll use is show me active area vice president headcount. So this should return 28 and it does. Uh, we can also see that the correct filters have been applied, which is active and the, the role type, which is area VP. The next question that I'm going to ask is I want to know about how many contractor employees we have. And I'm going to throw in a temporal. So contractor employees hired this year compared to last year. What I can see is that the results are 20 versus 23. And I can also double check and see that the contractor employee filter has been applied correctly. The second type of interaction is Insight Advisor search. So users can go in and search for fields that have been made available to them in the data model. And then Insight Advisor will create a list of recommendations once a selection has been made. Users can also ask these questions through natural language chat for certain fields and have them populate as well. Let's jump back into the same people operations application. I'm going to search for a branch and I'm going to find the dimension in my data model. As you can see, this is the branch. Then I'm going to uh, search for city and I'm also going to find that dimension within my data model. Upon selection, you'll see that a visualization and a recommendation has been generated. The third inter interaction is called analysis types. So Click is the only company that offers a guided authoring experience with analysis types. Let's say that I'm a user that wants to create a breakdown chart, but perhaps I don't know how to. Insight Advisor will go ahead and handle all of the steps to create that chart for me once I've selected a measure or a dimension. It is fully automated. One can work with this directly within the sheets and take advantage of all the powerful exploration capabilities that are already native to QCS. So let's jump into an example. What I'm going to do is go back into my people operations application. And what I'd really like to do is create a breakdown of all of the headcount, all of the active headcount I have by the geo-based dimension like city. To do so, I'm going to select the breakdown geo analysis types. That is going to prompt me to select the proper measures and dimensions. Once I've done so, you'll see that the chart has been automatically generated. I can export into a sheet and then I can leverage click to filter these results to perhaps a specific branch, specific city, or any other dimension that is available within my application. The final interaction is called sheet level NLG. So a user can leverage natural language that has been generated by Insight Advisor directly within the sheet experience. This is a marked difference from how we used to historically handle NLG in ClickSense. It can, it can be generated on a chart within a sheet or any master item, dimension, or measure that has made, been made available in business logic. This is an item that customers have been asking for for quite some time, and we are proud to have released it last year. Additionally, customers can modify the soft properties within this object to set preferences around NLG. These preferences include the sentence structure, 
but also the verbosity as well. Now, encompassing all of these interaction types and influencing them is this concept called business logic. So a robust business logic layer is going to provide the ability to create business rules and metadata to customize and guide the behavior of Insight Advisor. So specifically when Insight Advisor is generating insights, the user can actually craft the interaction itself and guide what that looks like within the application. A couple of examples of these is to logically group fields. So perhaps you have a bunch of uh, product related fields or headcount related fields that should belong in the same group to classify data. So perhaps you would like to classify certain items as dimensions, measures, uh, GPS coordinates, what have you. Specify default behaviors. So I could define uh, specific aggregations for certain items in my data model. Define preferred relationships so that users selecting one type of headcount dimension will always receive a corresponding uh, measure and much more. A uh, application owner can also create calendar periods to define how these measures should be filtered and even aggregated. So for example, uh, I may have a custom fiscal period and I want the application to recognize that versus your standard calendar year. That can be done so uh, through the business logic itself. Additionally, I can go in and customize the natural language itself. I can define synonyms. I can define specific vocabulary rules like example questions, which helps really that first time user interact with the application. Stay tuned for the next video. I am going to be highlighting our embedded analytics and also our integration capabilities for Insight Advisor. I'm also going to demonstrate our exciting new Microsoft Teams integration as well.